Just like with Violet EX in Korean, with Scarlet, we're not gonna do an intro because you guys skip it anyway. But if you guys miss Violet, we're gonna go through all the little things you need to know about with the new Korean version of Scarlet EX. Now we don't have any more plastic wrap. As you can see, there's just tape and a rip tab. I'm curious to see if they also keep this from future sets, but we're just gonna take this out. Korean cards, I, as we've seen in the previous video, still Korean cards. Still no SR guaranteed. The quality is still not as nice as the Japanese version, but I can definitely say it's improving from the Sword and Shield era. The hollow foil is nicer, not as glossy as the Japanese version, as you guys will see in this video. And SRs are still not guaranteed, but we did luck out with the previous video. So if you haven't checked it out, look in the card on the corner here. So let's get started. I'm very excited to see what we pull and also more silver border Korean cards. This is the main highlight here. And one thing I always hear about people asking with especially new Korean sets, if there's no advertisements, don't be alarmed. Those are only inserted in certain you know, packs or certain, I guess, waves, like the first wave usually, or I don't even know anymore. They don't do that nowadays. And if this is your first time seeing Korean cards, here's a comparison with an older Korean card from the Sword and Shield era. This is, um, this is Simisage. <laughs> I was going to say Grass Monkey, but of course I do remember the name of this. And here we have Zangoose. And as you guys can see, different colored borders, but they feel the same and they have the international backing. So there you guys go. Little quick rundown of Korean cards of now versus back then. All right, and the packs definitely feel a lot easier to open, which is quite nice. They're still not as easy as the Japanese version or to open, if you know what I mean. But yeah, if you don't know what I mean, just have some scissors on hand in case. And we have cloth. This is our lovely holographic. We don't have yellow borders anymore. Previously, we would just have yellow borders and just hollow foil here, just like the English cards. Also, we have to talk about, for someone who didn't see uh, Violet, we have new cameras. Yes, new cameras. So if you guys see me staring here for quite a while, I'm just adjusting to the positioning of a new camera. Jay was very nice enough to get us a lovely camera for YouTube. So, so it has a screen. screen. So yeah, that's have, what you're looking at. I have this screen where I can flip instead of like looking, you know, above like before with my iPhone. Now I can actually see when I'm opening. So I'm just making sure the card is in frame and also in focus. So you guys can really, you know, appreciate the detailing. Because when it comes to Korean cards, I know a lot of people want to make sure they know what the quality is like, especially if you guys are transitioning from Japanese to Korean. I know right now times are hard with the hype ruining the market and waifu tax, which isn't really waifu tax. Check out Apostle and Bud's videos for that. It's really just too much hype going on right now. And here's our first art rare or AR in Korean with cloth. Really adorable by Mina Nakai. And look at that. So I'd say the glossiness is definitely higher with the Japanese version, but this is just as nice, especially now we have silver borders. I know a lot of people wanted this change to happen. So now we have it. And if you like it, comment below. Let me know your opinion or if you miss the yellow borders. I know some of you are out there too. But me, I'm very happy with the new yellow, uh, silver borders. Like I said also when I was opening Violet EX in Korean, if you don't know the difference between Korean and Japanese, you are screwed. <laughs> because sometimes people who sell these cards don't even know the difference between the languages. You'd be surprised. I see I see cards listed as like Korean slash Chinese. I'm like, fam, which one is it? <laughs> I want to know which one I'm buying. And then, you know, it's, it's just for you guys to stay educated and, you know, so you don't buy a card um, that you expect different quality to be. You know, like if you buy a Korean card thinking it's Japanese and it has the quality of a Korean card, you're not going to be happy. So it's just good to stay informed and know what you're buying. And if you don't know, just, just search on Google Translate. Just look at the text. It's very easy to distinguish between Korean versus Japanese language. There's way more circles in the Korean language. <laughs> and we have Charcadet. I got that right this time. I don't know why I was calling it a different name. I apologize for that. So Viper. We have Team Star Ground. Oh, and have, we have Gardevoir. So if this is your first time seeing a Korean EX card, you'll notice that, of course, the Star Sparkle Hollow Foil is still there. But I don't know if you guys can really see it on camera. It's not as glossy or as prominent as the Japanese version. So I don't have it next to me, but one day I'll, I'll bring it up so you guys can actually see it. But yeah, from what I noticed, and definitely because I've opened the set not too long ago, it's not as um, glossy and nice as the, the Japanese version. So end of the day, you're getting what you pay for. But hey, it's way more affordable to get these booster boxes than the Japanese version, I'm just saying. And this video is not sponsored, by the way. I did buy these myself. And it's much, much easier to... If you just want to open cards for fun, and you don't care about value and you just want to feel out you know the sets and pull the card you want and don't care about the language korean cards are a great alternative 
and better than English in my opinion unless you're really into the you know TCG scene or if you think the pull rights are better in your opinion I, I never think that we have King Gambit very very lovely evolution to Bisharp and of course we have the hollow border so I know I'm, I'm, it's gonna take me a while to get used to this <laughs> it's still an adjustment even now but wow and it still has the Korean card feel it's very funny the cards a little bit thicker but the texturing has changed and if we pull an SR if we're lucky enough or if we pull a tarot card which does have the texturing you guys will really see this is again the first out of the two that you're watching from the Scarlet and Violet era. Experience share always comes back. I love that item. Okay. Oof. Yes, these packs are becoming easier to open. It's just you need to apply a lot of force. Char Cadet, another artwork. We have Fido. It's the Viper. <gasps> okay, we pulled a J Chase. We got it, guys. We got the Gar oh, Gyarados. Yep, this is so he doesn't even care. I mean, he likes the SR, but he likes this one more than That's the, the SR. That's the I wanted it as well. Yes, it is. And look at that. So we can, if I hope you guys can actually see the texturing. This is also why we also got a camera, a better camera, so you guys can see the specs better. So yes, the sparkle is there. It's not as prominent as the Japanese version, but I can definitely tell the texture is getting more fine versus the Sword and Shield era. So that's definitely How does very it look interesting on the new to camera? see. I love it. Oh yeah. I mean, I hope the viewers like it too. You know, because this yeah. is this should be higher than 4K, or if not 4K we'll see, we'll by see. default. We'll see when we get when it gets on YouTube. Yes, if YouTube, you know, still keep still keeps the quality up. <laughs> oh yeah, true. Yeah, there you go. Ex card, very nice. Terra card early on. Now I'm really curious to see what the secret rare is. Oh, Shiyama Magic card. Magic card's getting a lot of love in the Scarlet and Violet era. We have a Conda card, and then we have a Oshiyama card. Oh, and we have Armor Rogue. So this is one of the evolutions of Char Cadet. And the other one's Server Ledge, I believe. I think they're, I don't know if they're ver version exclusives. I believe they are, because you can only get one type of armor per game. We have Ryalu. We have Wiglet. Water Diglet. <laughs> we have Go, not Go Goat, it's the other one. No, that, that is Go Goat. Skiddo is the previous evolution. And then we have Lucario. Oh, the names, when there's so much Pokemon, it gets mixed up. Okay, halfway point reached almost. Let's see if I can pull Coridon. I still haven't pulled it yet. I don't know why. It likes to avoid me. Okay, we have a room. <laughs> oh, look at that. I spoke too soon. We got a Coridon EX. This is going to go to Jay because he loves Coridon. He, I love Coridon. He actually got Scarlet in Korean version. This is so fine. This is so funny because I pulled it finally in Korean. So there you go. Again, so you guys can look at the sparkle. <laughs> He's just cheering for joy back there because he's so happy. But yeah, the sparkle, again, not as prominent as the Japanese version, just giving you guys Aww. that extra specs. But it's really nice. I mean, I have to put it side by side with the Japanese card to see if the saturation is also still there because if you guys have watched me open Korean cards in the past, I have. Korean <laughs> Yes, yeah, so you've helped me. Korean cards usually have higher saturation <laughs> versus Japanese and even English cards. So yeah, that's that's definitely interesting. If anything, I think English cards have the least saturation. It goes English, Japanese, and then Korean. Mm. All right, so we have still loads of packs to go through. A lot of packs to go through. If we can pull that SR, <laughs> I'll be very happy. But if not, at least we pulled two of Jay's chases. Obviously, Violet is my favorite of the two. I was hoping to pull Maridon in some form. Um, check out the video if you want to see if that actually happened. And but I think you know I know people don't uh, hype up Scarlet as much, but Scarlet still has a lot of lovely cards to pull. Mm. We of course have Penny, and we of course have Coridon. I think the special art rare is quite nice, and I think Jay would also love that. It has a that cute little Dedenne running about. Uh -huh. <laughs> but yeah, so you know, don't downplay Scarlet just because it doesn't have. An expensive waifu. There's still a lot of lovely cards to pull, especially if you've played the game. A lot of the artwork will really resemble what you see throughout the Paldea region, and it's a nice intro to Scarlet and Violet, especially if you're Gardevoir fan. Freaking hell! Like, there's a really nice SAR. Oh, is that a? That's a repeat. We got two clops in the same box. Don't be alarmed if you get a repeat. I know people suddenly think that they're getting a fake box because it's a repeat. If you get one repeat, it's, it's not a big deal. If your, pack, if your pack is full of like all EXs or all secret rares that have no texture, that's sus. There's a, there's a big difference between obviously fake cards versus, you know, not so fake cards. Okay, we have Bruxish, another Charcadet. Yeah, Charcadet, that's the one. And <laughs> I'm just making sure I'm not miss, miss saying it again because I, I don't know why I, I put an extra letter there. I was, I was saying Char Sardet. I was like, no, that's Char Cadet. I, I put an extra letter in there, my bad. <laughs> Watro, Sandile, Smoliv, ooh, and Toxic. Or, ooh, so I really like the Dark-type EX cards because 
there's more contrast where you can actually see the sparkle better. So very lovely card. I like how bold the purple is against the black. So that's absolutely beautiful. And of course, we're getting a lot of, you know, throwback Pokemon. Not, not, it's not all Paldea Pokemon, but it's nice to see some old favorites. Okay. SR, where are you? And can we hopefully not pull a third cloth AR? And that would be really weird <laughs> if we pull all the same ARs. Bisharp, Metacham, and Floatzel. I see so much Floatzel. I just have a lot of traumatizing memories of Alpha Floatzel from Legends Arceus. All right, we have a Varum. There's plastic on my hand. Get off. We have Varum. <laughs> Again, the plastic in these cream packs, they either stick to you or they prevent you from getting into the pack. I've had that happen to me too many times. And we have Halucha. I hate when that happens. Yeah, like you've witnessed that yourself. <laughs> no, I'm sure you have. It's only recently. It took me a while to eventually have the guts to actually open these packs without scissors because it was quite the struggle in the beginning. I'm not really wearing nail polish today, so I'm not as afraid. Okay, we did not get a cloth. We got a very nice Wiglet AR. It's actually one of my favorites because I love underwater scenery, and this is so nice. I love the angle. It's by you, Itty. Be the same artist as the V-Star Universe pack art. It was absolutely gorgeous. Very happy. Again, probably one of my chase cards from Scarlet. There aren't too many of them for me, but that's definitely one I'd open this set for. Okay. Oh my god, guys, we only have a few packs left. No SR yet. Again, though, if I don't pull it, that's going to really prove to you guys. I mean, I've seen it myself. SRs what are still my guarantee. Uh, Paradigm, Trigger Paradigm Trigger Korean. Why that set? Why the set with the Lugia? Why with one of my favorite Pokemon? That's, that's my kind of luck, you know. And then the sets that you know I'm not too excited about. That's the ones I get the trace cards from. The Irony. Dondozo. Very nice. Again, it's it pairs with Tatsugiri. They're like a little duo. Partners in crime, if you may. <laughs> this is fourth to last pack. Oh my gosh, the tension is building, guys. Can we pull the SR? Because again, they're not guaranteed. Please remember that. If you're going to take anything away from my videos, no matter how much you skip or how little you watch, just at least please take away the fact that SRs are not guaranteed. And if you didn't hear from me, if you hear from someone else, at least you know, you're in a better place and not hearing that statement. Magic card. I think we have another EX in the back. Up, oh, Oink Cologne. I remember pulling this full art in the Japanese version. I prefer the EX actually. It's quite nice. Again, sparkle, sparkle factor. Not as nice as the Japanese version, but it's still a lovely card. Korean cards have come a long way since since previous previous generations, especially I'd say since Sun and Moon. Oh my God, guys! So we're gonna get one of those boxes. Second to last pack, and I don't oh, see any shimmer. No. Fido, Beach. Tatsukiri. Oh no! <sighs> okay, I'm, no I'm, 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 I'm dreading this last pack, guys. Please, please give me an SR. Because <laughs> oh. if this was a Japanese box, I wouldn't have to worry as much. Oh god, guys. Okay. Wait, really? Ponyard, Curlia. I could be wrong. I do see something, but I, I, I think it's just a hollow. Yep, it's just a hollow, and it's just Professor Sada. Hey, this isn't bad for me, but this is good for you because you can really see for yourself. There is no SR. You can go through the whole video. I promise you, there is no SR in this you booster know what box. That is? Don't do box breaks for Korean cards. Um, and if you do, you better be charging one to two dollars a pack because I don't want to see you guys scalping the hell out of the set. 